Thank you.
you know, there's always something. Always something. So, uh, yeah. One of the mods we were running <clears throat> delist was delisted by the author and then re-uploaded. Which broke the ability to load everything in. So, uh, if you looked at my list before, I've now updated the top mod in that line because I uh, had to. Because it wouldn't load. Because the mod author took it down and it's back up under a completely different mod ID. So, you know, uh, I'm going to assume that was an accident on the mod author's part and it wasn't intended to, to do stuff like that. Uh, considering it's it was part of a collection by the mod author team for Ares at War, uh, and it's not part of the collection anymore. So, same author though. I'm gonna assume it was just an error because Steam Workshop is kind of kind of stupid at times. Uh, it's great, outstanding, um, but it does some dumb things, especially involving like publication and uploads and all that. <clears throat> or you know somebody just. Intentionally broke things. I don't know. It's about the same mod author, so I don't. I don't really see that being any different. But anyway, welcome in. Once this loads up, we'll change over to it. What we're doing? Here we go. Day two. So, some mild changes. Uh, I have a couch. <clears throat> we had some things built out. Uh, I figured out what the problem was with the, uh, the, the food mod, so that it's just taken care of now. Oh, no. Uh, and we missed some changes. I've ripped out the, the survival kit from our starting, starting lander, and I have stuck it somewhere. Here. I placed it here, because it takes the same number of resources either way, so the medical components were not a problem with that. I've also added one of these static drills uh, just to pull stone. Because at this point, there's no reason not to. Uh, it's functional. I'm probably not going to make more motors for it right now. This is just to get some basic resources without tearing up the ground in a huge fashion. Currently laughing at Bad Ukulele Lady from the news. Yeah, you can't copyright strike people for using her song to mock you. That's literally the point of, uh, of satire. <clears throat> Protected. But we have things. So we have stone coming in, and then it gets put through the refinery. Uh, I want to turn the refinery on, at least, because it does drain some power. And right now, we're still running on... I added a second uh, second wind turbine. But these are vanilla turbines, not the big fancy industrial overhaul turbines. So they don't produce anywhere near as much power. But otherwise, we've got our extruder, we've got our smelter, we've got our fabricator, we've got our assembling bench. Uh, we have an industrial refinery... I want to work on an actual assembler. The problem is an actual assembler. That's not what I want. Requires I don't know. Oh, metal grids. I was like, what? Why couldn't I build this before? It needs metal grids. Metal grids need cobalt, which we don't have yet. Uh, nope. It is not new. Being up on screen is something I started doing partway through last stream, though. So you might not have been here last time. Want to put it up. But we are currently on that little plateau just north of that copper in the dead center. Uh, you can see 10 kilometers, almost 10 kilometers away, there's the big lithium deposit there on the east side of the map. This is that lake. I'm waiting for the sun to rise because it's coming up over the mountain here. I don't really like where we are. As we discovered last time, when I had to run back because I ran out of hydrogen. Oh yeah, lots of trees. Uh, as we discovered when I had to run back last time. Um, yeah, this is this is a much bigger spot than I thought. Uh, I had the scale completely wrong on that map. And I'm like, oh, this is like 5 kilometers away. No, no, that was like 15 kilometers. So we may need to rethink what we're doing here with this. Because... Uh, We're right here, and 
This is almost 10 kilometers away and it's protected by a base. Uh, it's still not a bad spot, but that's like... If we run pipelines, it's going to take a lot. Yeah, uh, lost buggies <clears throat> for certain. We're running aerodynamics mod, so we could get a thruster up, a couple thrusters up, and like a glider or a, an ultralight and go with that, which we're probably going to do. I did take off the atmospheric thrusters on this, so we have some titanium plates salvaged from those so we can make more. But right now, that is a problem. I'm going to sit on this couch to recover my sleep need. Uh, so we have some options here, but we need aluminum for all the good progression stuff at this point. And we could build up more manufacturing facilities because industrial overhaul does greatly increase how that works in the game as opposed to just being a refinery and that's it. Uh, you know, I'm sorry, I'm going to leave my phone. Um, but we don't have oops, any aluminum near us. There's, there's some down here, right? And that's a long ways away. Oh wait, no, yes we do, we have some right here. I'm I'm just completely inattentive. So we need aluminum, which we can finally refine. We just need more materials. But before I go building up a lot of industrial stuff, I need to figure out if I want to stay here or not. And right now, I don't think I do. And the problem is, I need sunlight to see what's going on. Put, I'm gonna put my uh, emergency rations yeah. over here. That's right. So because this this block here is the only thing keeping us from from starving or drowning or dying of dehydration right now. It's uh, it's small grid. There's not a large grid version of this. So it's attached to a conveyor converter, which is attached to a small hinge head attached to a large grid hinge, because that was cheaper than doing a rotor and less likely to result in angry clang. So we have things here. Uh, it's piped in. Somebody talk to me. Attention, Doom Goose. The GC is delighted to report a substantial decline in the illegal spice trade, but we remind all citizens to remain vigilant. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not a narc GC. So y'all can... Y'all can just disappear with that nonsense. We have a cargo container, not too. So we have, we have things, uh, we have food, we have plenty of, of water, we have some non-water based foods, and uh, worst case scenario we can move off chips. I don't want to, but we can. We also have some rations, so we're actually going to triple that amount, quadruple that amount. Yeah, right, they are getting serious. It's a good, so where is this gunship? There it is, four and a half kilometers away. Did I put the binoculars mod in here? I did. What do I have to do to make binoculars? Can I make binoculars? Production! Uh, mount the extruder. Can the survival kit do it? That's not what I want to do. It cannot. Okay, so... I may need to see if there's an integration mod for binoculars for uh, industrial at all. Anyway, we're starting to get some sunlight now. It's almost up over the mountains. God, it's still super dark, though. Hot oh, damn. Don't crash into the trees. So, the rover's half gutted, but it still works, and that's the important part. Uh, worst case scenario, we can throw some lead acid batteries on here and be done with it. I don't think we need that much power, though, especially since we're no longer flying. We have a hydrogen thruster on here, but, like, I'm considering taking it off because there's really no point or value to it. Really deep. This is a look here we got. This is such a mess. Uh, let's see. We don't need the timer block, but I don't really want to take all the parts off. So we've got the O2HU generator. Um... So there is that. And I do have a moisture evaporator up. It's not turned on right now because we have some ice and we're not heavily hydrogen dependent. Like, what's a hydrogen thruster tape? 
Is that within our tech range? No, again, these metal grids. So, we have some options. We can either go buy some. Uh, it does, you just have to go to the live section. It doesn't show under the old stuff. Yeah. YouTube separates it by separate sections. It's also part of the playlist. Come on, give me some more sun. Anyway, we can't do... We can either buy grids or buy cobalt. But that's going to require us go back to... The Rebel base down here. Which, uh... I mean, that's 25 kilometers away. Right, so... We have to figure this out. Oh, son, you're so slow. I kind of like the, the the idea of going closer to the water because we're we're way farther away from than I thought we would be. Like this is this is high up, and if we come down here to the beach, we're what nearly two kilometers away. Oh wow, that's actually really close. I guessed. Not on a point three gravity moon. I can't just turn off my, my jetpack. Anyway, we're down here. So we could do boats. Boats would make things easy to move around with. I just I have concerns about being two kilometers away and having to run two kilometers worth of stuff. We could do pipelines, but that requires metal grids. So cobalt and aluminum are and, and aluminum plates. Cobalt and aluminum is kind of our our limiting factor right now. Uh, we can drill down, you know, a kilometer for put a collector down at waterline. If we keep going down far enough, we can get potentially geothermal power, which would be pretty good. We do need some power improvements. But I think just rebuilding down here is going to be the way to go, because right now, building this high up doesn't really help us with anything. You can kind of see there as the sun continues to rise, how big of a cliff this is. And, uh... Yeah, I have... I have concerned and thoughts. So... Uh, I did break an ankle this time. We still need to deal with, with more permanent food and water. Um, which also is going to require aluminum. For, for farming things, so, you know, this is all hydroponic. <clears throat> but we need to start getting something going. There's copper down. Also, if we're close to the water, there's copper there. So I think what we're going to do is go build on the copper. And we're going to take the... Mm, should we take the truck? Let's... At 49%. Let's refill our hydrogen tank. Um, and actually, could it do an H2O2 for a large group? Yes. We might have to, to get into that at some point. But anyway. Turn off our suit lights. Down over here-ish, there should be copper, according to this map. The stream elements bot decided to leave and rejoin. Good on you, stream elements. To be fair, we were going a lot faster than I thought we were, so. Okay, somewhere over here, because this is the big beach thing, can I see a copper deposit with the hand drill, or am I going to have to bring the car over here? I think we can get this way. Because I don't know that we're close enough. Can't tell if that's a tree or not. Nope, that was ground. Good thing I pulled up. Can't see anything because of the sun. Yeah, the small hand drill collection range. 
is going to show us anything. All right. Let's get the rover. <clears throat> we should probably see if I can make a replacement parachute just in case. But if we can find where the copper is, we can set up down by the water near that. Minimize the amount of stuff we have to do to get it. And then go from there. Because if we set up by the water, we can also use hydrogen power, hydrogen generators to run our stuff. So let's, uh, let's break this free. Because right now a collector is doable. Use that to collect water, run that through a hydrogen generator, go from there. Actually, hang on, oh, before I do this. Can't do any canvas. Mm. Fabricator? No. Nope. So we can't refill our parachute. So this is kind of a useless block for us, but that's fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn off the parking brakes. Let's turn on our ore detector. And let's see what we can do. We don't need lights. Going southeast is where we want to go. Let's avoid the hole we dug. And try not to roll this down the mountain. There's nothing critical on this anymore, so if we lose it, we lose some components. But it's nothing super critical. It'd be nice to keep it intact, though, because uh, we can always put another cargo container on this and uh, use it to relocate our base. Going spicy fast, Let's slow it down. Turn the headlights back on. You know, if we're going to be moving, maybe we should pick somewhere that's less in shadows. sunrise. Alright, so the question is... God, we're at such a steep angle here. I'm in... There we go. Finally starting to slow down. I was like, I was in full reverse and we kept accelerating. That's not a good sign. If we go down here, I think there's a path that gets us out of the water. That's the hope, at least. at this angle. This is an angle that rolls ATVs. Avoid the big trees. We don't care about the small shrubs. Detectors on. So we should be able to find the copper deposit. See, this looks so pretty when the sun hits it. Oh, that reminds me, I was supposed to disable third person settings because that was voted on in discord and i forgot to do that because i was distracted by things not working right because of mod author issues okay. e nope this is a mistake abort let's try coming down over here instead i still have nothing showing up on this order detector let's double check our ore detector settings 200 meters okay we're on. So we should, if it's within 200 meters of us, we should detect them. Let's 
just forcibly kick everything. Why is the parachute hatch showing on the hood? Run off. That's not necessary. We can't do. The tree saved me. Oh, we're gonna roll. We're gonna roll. We're rolling. This is it, chat. Off the cliff we go. Actually, the brake being on there caused us to flip again. Uh, nope. Oh, wait, there's a hydrogen tank on this. That could be explosive. Oh, man, we lost the ore detector. <laughs> Well, okay, that could have gone better. That's where the ore detector was. Um, hmm. We can rebuild one. Metal detector, that's what I want. This is pretty easy. Oh wait, this is a metal detector, not an ore detector. Does that actually mean it operates like a, a metal detector and it's not gonna find? Mm. That's a question I don't have an answer to. The battery's dead. We may not be able to actually drive this now. Nope. All right. So, oh, this is far more steep than I thought it was in the dark. There was, maybe we could have gotten down there. There's just, well, this is so much steeper than I thought. Okay. Hmm. Why is there ice in the cockpit? All right, so battery time. We can do acid batteries. We can make those ourselves. Uh, alkaline batteries. We can't make the alkaline power cells yet. We have enough spare lithium power cells. I think we can make a small one, but do we want to? versus just go ahead and converting over to lead acid now. Oh, that's rolling. So we're going to do something a little bit different. Oh, hey, look. We discovered a new faction. All right, so this makes the need for that ultralight plane all the more important now. I'm glad I took those thrusters off before we went. Antenna approaching ground installation. That must be an automated drone for them, then, the colonists. Yeah. Let's just deposit all this stuff in here. Ah, uh, take a drink. We'll eat some food. We need an H2O2 generator. Let's just clear all this stuff out. Let's see what we do. H2O2 H H generator. We need a tank. What can we do for hydrogen tanks? Uh, get spice tanks. Gasoline tanks, we can't refine any of that stuff yet. So 
So we got the smaller hydrogen tanks from the fancy storage mod. We can do those. We can do a small, small grid one. A regular tank. Uh, these are, you know, let's go with this. Because I want to play with this. I haven't done that yet. And we need to see. Oh, gee, this is huge. Uh, let's stick it. Is this fed in? Yes, it is. So we need steel plates. Uh, and we need a tank. What does this have? Just on the bottom? Cool. Let's uh, turn on ports display mode and build vision. Yes, there is. Okay. Control plus on your keyboard if you use build vision. Uh, we get you that information. So there we go. Uh, and then let's just drop. So both of those. Uh, let's see what I can pull. Can't pull everything. I can pull some things. Need to manufacture some heating elements and some more small steel tubes. Shouldn't be a big deal. Yeah, I was uh, racing the rain home earlier. Like I, in the rear view mirror, uh, I could actually see the rain on the road behind me, chasing me through the neighborhood on the way back home this morning. It was uh, it was a thing. Let's turn the refinery back on. Let's turn the moisture evaporator back on. We're gonna need a lot more ice now. Uh, how's our power doing? We've got two turbines. We're drawing way more than they can produce on their own. What are we making things? Okay, two components cannot be put to production. So, what do we need? Nine tubes and ten heating elements. Production, extruder, let's make ten of those. And then the fabricator can make us the heating elements. Yes. Oh, wait, we can do alkaline power cells. Heating elements can be made with just iron and copper. Okay, so alkaline power cells is an option for us. We could also do acid power cells. Oh, sorry, we need acid. We need sulfur for the acid power cells. We don't need alkaline. Okay, so this is this is doable. And the assembly bench, there's literally no points. I wonder why that got queued up for things that way. Interesting. We need power for this. There's out of power. So let's turn back off this. We're still overloaded. By how much? Max output 284 kilowatts, current output 1 kilowatt. What? All right, we have no batteries in the base at all. All right, so alkaline batteries. They come in small and large grid variants. So that's good. We need steel plates. For those. Uh, we're just gonna put these down here at the base. Man, these are these are some serious old school like industrial alkaline power cells. I love it. Hundred twenty alkaline power cells per. So there's two hundred forty alkaline power cells. Produced. Uh, is this the song? Why is the Q stopped? Not enough power. Okay, uh, let's turn the refinery back off. It's only pulling three megawatts of power, and I thought we were producing way over that. Kind of. Yeah, we need batteries to buffer this. This is not. This is not going to work. So there's that uh, fabricator. We need 100, 240 cells, which means we need 240 copper wire. Uh, and that 
means I'm going to have to go over to the assembly bench because I don't have a wire puller yet. The copper wire. Because we definitely need a, a battery. A, we need a, a power buffer for this for seriously. And we need more power. <clears throat> like, we can run it off that if we have to, but... Uh, let's see. There's the engine is here. This is well within our power to do. It just takes some time. This is actually just gasoline stuff. Which eventually we need to tech up to. But... Y'all are noisy. These things are constantly cycling on and off. All right, so this isn't making anything. This isn't making anything. This isn't making anything. The extruder or the fabricator doesn't have the copper wires yet. We also need more ice. We have the ice. We've got 2.7k ice. So we're just going to let this run. We're going to go back over here and go continue salvaging our blown up, blown up little rover. And it'll come back. Oh no. The sound glitch is back. Where did we wind up? I think cleanup got it. Because it wasn't suspended. Let's let's do a double check real quick. Oh no, okay. It hasn't been it hasn't been cleaned up. Never mind. Just gotta find where it went. Where did I crash it? I came off I think I came off this hill, didn't I? Yep, there it is. Okay. I mean, to be fair, if we hadn't rolled it, this is kind of the way to get down. It's just at like a 70 degree angle. Okay, grab those spare parts. Let's do this. Uh, we're just going to drop a GPS. Drop a GPS here and go with that. And then... I don't think anything on this grinds down to nothing, so we'll be able to salvage all these parts. Thrusters! Emergency thrusters! Okay. Thanks, Ice. You suck. Where did the ice go? It popped out and then just did it phase through the ground. That's actually mildly annoying. Okay. Okay, no, I got it. I gotta restart the safe. <laughs> I can't, I can't deal with the constant noise from that sound glitch. Uh, I'm so annoyed that, that that glitch is back. I might have to turn us back to arcade sound. But that's really annoying. We 
受けた。Ginger Park, going back to your earlier statement, how have you not had any actual rain in a month? Like, you're 10 miles from me, and we've just been absolutely dumped on where I am. Mountain weather is the answer to that, is the actual answer. Mountain weather. Oh, fixed. Okay. Let's finish grinding this all up before the sun sets. Such a beautiful planet.、Uh, or before, like, some super goofy weather rolls in and causes problems. Oh, wait. We're full. Let's try not to drop things in the ground. Like, I know we're doing 150 meters a second. It just feels so slow in your suit. It feels faster in space somehow. Maybe it's because you have no frame of reference. So you don't get that.、Uh, that optical illusion where it looks like you're moving slowly because the terrain is moving slowly from what you're used to. Dump everything.、Uh, how are we doing for production? 90. Oh, the storm will end. This is honestly not too different from how it looks out my window right now. Alright,、uh, we're going to get the rest of the cockpit components because those are the important bits off this. Would like to get the wheels too. Because I think these wheels have rubber, and that's not something we can make yet. So we're going to have to go back to using all metal wheels. But the problem is, as soon as I chop off these wheels, this whole thing's going to be rolling down the mountain. So let's.、Uh, Kind of cheat this a little bit. We'll just place up some blocks here. There we go. Now, when it goes rolling off, it won't end up down in the water like with the other half of the ship. You need to be careful not to drill the grounding. Yeah, that got us rubber. Okay.、Uh, so the rest of this is just. Oh, no space. Alright, so I know Keen fixed this bug. Which means it's something in this mod pack. And I'm assuming it's industrial overhaul because industrial overhaul hasn't been updated in a while. So we're going to have to change this off of realistic sounds and back to arcade. So we're going to get like the cartoony welder grinder stuff, and the makes no sense to have propagated sound in space now. But that kind of is what it is, and there's not really anything to do around that anymore. Out of high potential. So let's. Before we go back for more, we have to try to get this thing built. There we go. Alright, so that's working. Which means I can take my hydrogen tank and stick it in here. And then tell it to auto refill. Yeah. So we're good there.、Um, and then let's. I want this next. I guess I could have done this before. But... Yeah. The 
This is from the next gen storage mod, which is it runs off the animation engine, and it has animated parts, which are really cool. Uh, there's also like a storage storage blocks instead of like these cargo containers where it stacks up like crates of stuff. Okay, I can't. I'm sorry, I can't. Oh my god. Mute in the game at the moment. Too many stacking up infinitely playing sounds that shouldn't be playing anymore. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. And there's more and settings. Come on. It is on a crate mode. Oh. What if we force it to realistic then? We're getting that sound bug on arcade. Oh, that's no. Oh, no, 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 no. Nope. Nope. Oh, that makes, that makes my skin crawl. Uh, if anybody's aware of a fix for that, please comment it down below. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Maybe just watch this with the sound off and, like, the captions on instead. Okay, well. So up here on the map, theoretically there's copper down here somewhere. There's coal up here on top of this mountain. I don't know how deep it is. Oil is honestly the end goal. Assuming there's not like a GC base here, like there's the lithium. But that requires a little bit more materials than we currently have. Okay. Unmute the game. I need 14 more small stews, really. is drawing power right now. the only battery I had was on the rover. That's what was buffering power. We're outputting more than we need. Uh, I mean, it's, are we seriously? No, there's no way we're out of, out of, actually out of one. R, okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, right, the drill. The drill's running. The drill takes... A little bit of power. Not a whole lot. What else is eating power? It's because of the cycle. No way this is a power issue. Yep. Uh, okay. Uh, what do we still need? We need steel tubes? We need steel tubes. We're stealing steel tubes from something. this back there. 
can't deal. I need the hydrogen. Uh, we're going to turn this back on. Turn this back on. This is on. This gives us 5 kilowatts. I don't know how long it's going to give us 5 kilowatts, but it's going to give us 5 kilowatts. We had just need just enough hydrogen to jumpstart this thing running. 200 liters a second. Holy shit, my guy. Okay, refinery off. Simply bench off. Survival kit off. Static drill off. This is dangerous to do. Turn that back on. Turn this off. Turn that off. Off. Hydrogen is on, refinery is off, moisture vaporator is off, tank is on, we're filling it. Yeah, we're well below what we need. Okay, we're, we're outputting power now. Cool. this back on. As long as you got power, let's run it. We need 14 small steel tubes. Uh, we have some iron. Oh, we have iron over here. Still flickering power though. We, we need to get those batteries up there. The problem is the batteries, 100%. It's 100% the batteries. Uh, we'll just throw this down into here to get pulled into the system where it needs to. Uh, and then we'll just take these and. Where's Park Okay, we need to get this back up and running because until that's running, we can't get things moved over here. We've got most of these back. There's two more. Come on, little manufacturing bench, you can do it. There we go, that's the last one. Turn that back on. The smelter can now run. The fabricator can do its fabricate thing. Still running into power issues. So as soon as everything runs at once and we're dropping below, that happens. Okay. Uh, what was I doing? Batteries. Batteries. Alright, what's in build planner? Don't need that there. Let's grab. This. Need more alkaline power cells still. Production line. Fabricator. We have enough iron and copper and ice to make these for a little bit. It's just a matter of taking time to do it. So. That'll be really this. It'll get there eventually. All oh, right. We also need more copper wire for these. Than just the 240 for the cells. Because we need another 80 copper wire for those. Let's go back over here. Production. Uh, let's just throw another 100 copper wire in there. Why not? We don't need the silicon here. And we need the copper here. Though. We don't need the nickel here. We'll leave the iron and copper. 
we'll throw these back over here for now. Uh, got another eight cells. We're getting there. This is stuff I should have done to begin with, and I just didn't. I'll just play with fate and cheat my way forwards. No, that doesn't work. The gods of industry are cruel. They must must have their blood paid. That's what I get. Oh, there's the ice. Sweet. Let's grind up this piece here while we're here. Should just be like steel plates. I think is the only thing left of this. Now. Oh wait, nope. There's there's another tire. Yay, rubber. No, oh, crap. I just grind up some plates. That's fine. That's fine. Fly back home. We reconsolidate. This is really when I wish that space engineers had a functional winch. So I can just winch things down this this cliff. And yes, I know the harpoon mod exists. It has issues, and it's more like a bungee than it is a a winch. So I don't really consider that as counting. Let's recharge. Get our suit power back up. How are we doing on our hydrogen tank? It is 57%. Let's stuff this. Uh, we'll just know. Mm -hmm. It's down here. We'll do it this way this time. We'll go around the back. Dump that in there. We should have... Yeah, it came back already full. Uh, let's grab our ice and just slam... Why is... Oh, it's the fabricator needs it. I was like, why is there ice there? I thought we had more ice somewhere. Wow, the ice I pulled is gone already. Oh. I'm going to turn you off for a little bit. We need to... Yeah, we need to We need to work on that. Max. We need to work on stable, stable power. Uh, I can either make a giant wind farm, which I don't particularly want to do. And there's another gunship right there and it's nearby. And he's going to get upset that I'm flying near him. We can either build a giant wind farm, or we can relocate. And I think we're just going to go relocate. We're going to come down here, we're going to set up a beach. Because this strip of, of, of beach right here, the sand, this is... I mean, this is a very flat. We could use this for a makeshift runway. And that would work out well. Let's see if I can not splat into the wall. Yeah, yeah, I did splat the wall. Um, splat it into the ground. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's gonna sit here. Agoras. Goldo Corpus is gonna sit there and ward it over us. So they can fly around while they keep us oppressed. upsetting that noise is still there in the background. Arcade versus uh, realistic doesn't seem to make a difference. make we have enough rubber we could use actual wheels but we also might want to save that and just go for the metal wheels instead because there are metal wheels and they're kind of like with industrial overhaul they're kind of the intended path until you can get into rubberization And 
I feel like if we rely on only using free parts we got from our starting rover, we're going to end up in a scenario where things go poorly, like we had here when I eventually blew something up. Because it's, it's not a matter of if with me, it's a matter of when. No. Come back. I want you. Uh, I'm losing this fight. These armor plates are winning. Bye. Be that way, you're free. Oh, I've been made a fool of by metal plates. That's what I got. Alright, so... This will work. We'll just we'll set up here. We'll build a collector. We'll collect all the hydrogen in the world out of out of the ocean, and then we'll just run, and we'll just run off hydrogen for early game, and we'll have massive tinnitus, and we'll eventually go deaf by the age of thirty nine, uh, from how loud the world bones of this planet are. It'll be, it'll be fine. So we could just relocate this and be done with it all right. Uh, let's see, so... We did pick up a pumpkin and two pieces of wheat from uh, an unknown signal that dropped. We can, oh, and an apple. We can use these in a farm to grow more. So there's there's options there. Uh, how are we doing? So we need to get more more coils. Oh my god, the constant the constant turning on and off will drive a man mad. This is actually the the, the true secret, by the way, of uh, how Goldo Corp keeps everybody in line. Uh, they just drive them insane. They just drive them insane. Fabricator, come on, make me my cells. That said, we're we're moving and we can't recover those cells. So let's maybe not. Yeah, let's just not. We're going to start moving things now. So, uh, we need to make things. You know, actually 200 liters a second is not that bad a, bad a rate now that I think about it. Okay, so uh, let's grab a bunch of steel plate, and we'll grab some construction components, and we'll grab some uh, We'll grab, what else are we going to grab? Start with that, and let's go down, let's go down, down the hill, you know, before we do that. Let's refill our tank. Come on, refill. There we go. So we know the gunships make regular passes over here, but that is what that is. We're going to park up over here. Eventually we'll figure out where the copper is. Wait a minute. What if the copper was here all Looking at this map. 
What if the copper's here? Nothing showing up on the handle. It'd be like a surface deposit, right? It's copper. Maybe let's, let's fly up a little bit before the sun sets. Maybe we can find. This is just stone. Right? Yeah, it's a stone with a texture to it. the mountains, according to the map. But I don't see any surface deposit indicators, which means it's underground, which means we're going to have to have... Man, it's got to be in that valley. If the map is accurate. If the map is accurate, it's got to be in that valley. build another order deck and not crash it this time. Okay, that's fine. Do that. Okay. go with collector and then what is the cheapest pipe we have access to small conveyor tubes would be but they're also shorter so that's not bad that's okay Uh, some of these are not any better. Okay. Don't have any better tubes because these are all smalls. Actually, this still might be the way to go is just do single... Cargo transport coming in, man. We're getting a lot of uh, a lot of air traffic here. All right, so hey, Finley, welcome in. Collector underwater. All right, yeah. Uh, let's set this to gravity aligned placements. Uh, we'll just. Us. There we go. Oh, oops. Uh, fun fact don't go stand underwater for prolonged periods of time with your helmet up. It's bad for your health. We'll do that. Uh, then let's do. We'll do a pipe junction for now because that gives us options. And then we'll do. Let's see. I kind of like the look of the flanged pipe. Yeah, and we'll come back here to a curved pipe. Oh, the water's tripping. We'll just do more flange pipes back. That's not what I wanted. That's literal. something like this, so we can't attach directly to those, but we could if we did. Uh, let's see. We'll do another junction here. 
just so we have it. And then we'll just angle it. This will be where we start. And then we'll put our H2O2 generator here. Because this. This. So we'll do that. And then that's directly off to the side. We want the small hydrogen tank. I don't know. How much does this hold again? Five hundred thousand liters. So there is a bendy pipe. If by that you mean this, right? There's a curve. There's a ninety degree curve. Um, there's not. Uh... Oh, I blew up the rover. Didn't get eaten by trees, but I did eat the rover off a cliff accidentally. But, you know, it's a minor setback. We're living here now anyway, so. Um, but there's not like a... There's there's the Pipelines mod, which allows you to do, like, point-to-point -point targeting of specific pipes, like, uh, like a big oil pipeline. But it's not really a... Uh, it's not really designed otherwise. You know, actually, we're going to change this up. We're going to do... We're going to put... one of these tanks here. And then we'll put another tank here. We'll just do two tanks. Because the hydrogen engines have bottom and side ports. What's the attachment points look like on these these tanks? Top and bottom. Okay, so we could do I can anchor these in this way. Yeah, okay. So this is all secured as one grid. I don't need to worry about it splitting, potentially. That's what happens when you're paying attention to work-related things, Mark. Um, <laughs> and then we'll just grind this out, and then put our first engine here, rotated upside down to the ground, and now we've got a second port here, plus ports on either side we can work with. This is, this is something we can work with. Uh, we just need to do this. So let's, uh, what do I have on me? I've got a whole bunch of steel plates. The nice thing about YouTube streams is that the vlog lasts until I delete it. Unlike Twitch, where it's gone in weeks to months. Build capacity completed, reached. Let's go back up here. Uh, no, we still have a, an orange indicator. We got, there we go, hydrogen in the tank. I was trying, I drove all the way around and then was trying to get down here and I, in the semi dark, went off a cliff. Uh, that is my, oh, look at that, 2,370 credits cloning fee. Uh, that is technically my second death. I had a death that happened off camera when I was fixing the other mod issue. So I've, I've already paid like 5,000 credits into the, into the, the corporate healthcare system now. Stop bouncing away, I need my things back. Oh, I'm stuck in a tree. What up? Uh, there we go. Come back. Come back! Oh, I hate this cliff. I hate this already. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, I'm just running. 30 miles an hour, I'm running. There we go. Stopped. Bill planners it was kept intact. That wasn't changed. Okay, let's go. And we're no closer. We're no closer to fixing our food issue. Like in my mind, in my mind, I was like, "Oh, this will be great. We'll uh, we'll set up here. We'll go down. We'll get some bauxite. We'll refine it to aluminum. 
we'll get plates up and running, we'll get our power situation fixed, and we'll get our hydroponic food system running. It'll be great. It'll be glorious. Uh, and what actually has happened is I've blown up my rover. I have died. I do not have bauxite refinery going. I'm hidden back in shadow again. We're gonna we're gonna name this Mordor base because of the shadow. Yeah, at least I'm not on foot. That's true. calling this Port Mordor, because it's where the shadows lie, because hot damn. The planet, the planet's pretty. It is. When we have sun, it's glorious. When we have the sun, it is glorious. The problem is having the sun. Gonna kind of weld as we go here, because I'm just killing time waiting for more parts. Uh, we probably need to move more iron back into. Oh, because it's gonna build build pen is gonna auto queue into the manual assembler, not the fabricator or the extruder like it should. So we need to go fix those. And what we're gonna do after we get Port Mordor going for power. Uh, we're going to tear all this down and we're going to build machines to do all of that stuff individually rather than have to rely on the manual assembler because I already hate the manual assembler. Oh, and you know what we also need to do? We need to eat and drink because our clone has none of those things. So let's go with six foods, that gets the 60 food back, we go with two waters. We're going to go sit down on our couch, rest, and eat our stuff, and drink our things. As those recover. And then once we have all the basic manufacturing facilities up and running, we're going to make us a plane. I mean, we could make a boat take that back we can make a boat we have water right and since we're we're building all we're building port mordor right here at the tip of the fish this is kind of like a fish yes this is a fish it doesn't look like anything else is a fish uh the tip of the fish the mouth of the fish then we can take our boat through the lake all the way back down here to the uh the resistance base might be able to trade for some things it can get us over to cobalt. It can get us to gold. Uh, we can take a look at this niter deposit and see if there is a GC base there. Now the orc is later. The orc is later for when we decide to start uh, attacking. Uh, this looks kind of like a chicken. Or uh, a pit. So what was, oh man, what, was, what was that? Hang on a second. What was that movie? Storks. The Pigeon from Storks. If you've never seen Storks, hilarious movie. But if you've never seen the movie, that reference won't make sense. But this is the bad guy Pigeon from Storks. And then we could go to the far north. I don't think there's any uranium in large. There's not. I don't uh, so here we are. Anyway, anyway, a boat would be functional. A boat would get us access to some things, and it would be less prone to blowing up than a plane would. Because with a plane, you need a runway, right? Or at least somewhere to land. Um, and thrusters, which we don't have the stuff to do right now. So... It would be nice not to have to deal with crash risk, but we are going to need a plane eventually for cargo. But I think maybe like a little skiff would be the way to start. We had 
drink. Eat some food. I've got so many rations on. Because honestly, like going going around is the long way to get back to the resistance base. But at the same time, we could eventually make ourselves an, uh, a, like not an aircraft carrier, right? We could eventually make a landing barge. Actually, I need to play around. I wonder if the uh, the if we could do pontoons and have our boat float, or our airplane float, do a seaplane. I would love to do a seaplane. Seaplanes are cool. Emergency rations take so long to eat. That's the problem with dying. When you die, you lose all of your all of your survival stats because your clone is kept barely alive. And so you're like, oh, okay. I just paid three grand to be starving. I mean, it's better than being dead, I guess. All the millennials in chat laughed at that. On the bright side, as we can see from the bouncing power meter, we're not doing terribly bad there. And actually, while we're doing this, I should go fix this. So the... Oh, my God. We need so much stuff to be tossed into that... And I don't want to. I don't want to mainly do that. So we're just going to go grab all our supplies, grab our nickel, grab our silicon, grab our copper and our iron, and I'm just going to go shove all of this crap into the assembler. I hate this thing. I cannot stand it. Why are you the worst? To make people stop using it, I get that. However. Ice, large steel tubes, electromagnets, more copper wire, 600 copper wire. We need more copper, we need more iron, you guys. Uh, all the copper, all the iron, we need to turn off the H2O2 gen. So we can stockpile some ice. What do we need the ice for? Hang on a second. Oh, we need it for the batteries. The alkaline power cells. Which are being made over here anyway, so we don't actually need them. Kill that. We don't need the ice. Yay! Problem solved. Just more food in her face. Come pull parts out. Stupid manual equipment. Uh, put the copper and iron in. Stuff some more food in her face. Let's put this in here. How are we doing? Speaking of fabricators, how are we doing on the rest of these cells? We've got all the copper we have. We're missing the ice. So I imagine the ice, as soon as it gets made, is getting not getting dragged over to it. Okay. Did I turn the fabricator off? I might have turned the fabricator off. No, I didn't. Okay. It's working. And we need a power cell. We need a battery down there, too. It's fine. We can recover. It's nighttime. The eternal, the eternal darkness. We're gonna drag this copper wire down here to the back end. Uh, we're gonna start stacking things up. Manufacturing batches. Just as things stack up will make their components, right? Like, the motors need large steel tubes, electromagnets, and copper wire. So, eventually, we'll just 
once we get here, we'll make these, and then those will immediately get pulled in to be used here. Uh, we need more copper wire for this. How much copper wire? It's 462 total. So we'll have some extra copper wire made. It's fine. In fact, I don't know if we actually need these computers, because I'm like 99% sure we have the computers. Yeah, we have we have the computers. We're fine. Throw all these things in. Double click to draw back out. Go down here to Port Mordor. Uh, chat, you can pro actually. I take it back. You can see better than I can. I'm looking over here, and on the recording screen, I have better visibility than on the actual game screen. Uh, Pascus at some point. Eee! Oh, that was close. Pascus at some point decided, "Hey, I'm going to put a filter and make the recording slightly brighter than I am currently looking." Nope. Close my helmet. Don't need to drown. You don't realize how close I was to actually crashing into something and dying there. I'm just saying. It's like construction components and steel tubes for a big chunk of this. Uh, we need batteries. So, we're going to throw down. Can we find those two random steel plates from over here by chance? Nope, that's way too dark. Not doing that. I'm going to crash into a tree and die. Just grab some steel plates from home. Yeah, it could have happened. Construction components uh, from over here. We're going to grab some steel plates, some extra steel plates. I'm going to double click to fill the rest of our inventory off build planner. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm going to die. <gasps> I did die! I'd have to pay more money! I'm going to go bankrupt from death. Gotta hobble back on busted ankles. It's like, I wonder what I need to refill my hydrogen tank. We're probably fine. No hydrogen tank. We'll run out of hydrogen. We don't want to fall in the hole because I don't have the hydrogen to get back out of the hole. Grinder to this tree in frustration. Okay. Uh, we'll come over here. We're going to heal up. Refill our suit hydrogen before we refill the tank so that when we refill the tank, the tank is full. Okay, we come over here. We eat this into a thing. I don't want it in the hydrogen. H2O2 generator, don't auto refill. Problem solved. And then we need, we have ice, yeah? Yeah, okay. That gets us those cells made. We're healed, we have hydrogen back, now we can head back down the dark of the night. We have a GPS, and the water is oddly luminescent. So, you know, there's probably, like, the fact that the water glows in the dark um, tells me that Goldo Corp has completely and totally polluted the oceans of this world. Beyond recovery. 
before we do anything else, we're going to put down our batteries. We're going to run two batteries. They've got a, a, a megawatt of power they store. So that'll get us where we need to go. What do I have in my inventory? Motors, steel plates, that kind of not small steel tubes. I'm just going to keep going with the steel plates we have in our inventory. Cool, we're down to just our basics. Alright, we're just in it for the long haul. Man, I really want some. I really want some. We might take a trip down to that bauxite uh, mine plant on the, the marker there uh, during the day so I can see what's going on and I don't crash into more things and die again. Uh, let's see if we can spot and or find. Man, these trees come up out really damn fast on you in the middle of the night. See if we can find uh, where our. If, if there's sur if it's surface. A little Find out if it's surface. Because that's that's ultimately the goal. How's the fabricate? Production. Uh, more ice, but we're getting closer to having two batteries. We're actually a battery and a half worth of stuff. Because I did I did break those. It's 100% made. Um, and since that's there, let's grab our alkaline power cells, or as many as we can. We're going to take those down here as well. Start plugging those in. It would have been so much nicer to use the rope for this if I hadn't crashed it. But, you know, Stuff happens. Yeah. We're getting the motors and construction pumps, but I want to get. Let's see what's. We've only got five things. We can get six things put into our, uh, our, our deal here. Uh, let's just go blah, blah, blah. I might need to... I wonder what a program block costs with industrial living. I wonder if that's a thing. Trees. Sudden, shocking, and upsetting trees. Come back. Move some more ice over. Do a fabricator. We can do this smarter. We can do this more smart. We have iron. We're, we're constantly refining more iron. I wonder if I just chopped up the basic uh, 
the, the assembler, the hand assembler, if it would auto queue properly with build, build player. Now it's closed. There's that. Not enough tubes. That's fine. We're building a whole bunch of tubes. Fly back. going on here? The assembly bench. No, I'm done. I'm done. Done. Base computers, construction plants, still placing copper wire. Is there any of this we can't make out of the fabricator? No. Literally. Oh, wait, hang on. Can you steal plates? Extruder can't do steel plates. We need a plate stamp for that. So we still need it for for steel plates. But we can just do that. Make a bunch of steel plates and then not care about it. And then everything else goes into the stuff it's supposed to. So like, we'll do 100 steel tubes and then we'll do 200 more, more um, small tubes in the extruder. Or to the fabricator and we'll go, hey, you know what? We need. Oh crap, we can't do motors! <sighs> or a wire. Or. Okay. Fuck. It's fine. We're starting on the path. We're starting on the path. Assembling bench is doing that, and then we'll tell it to make like 100 motors, which is going to take a whole bunch of large steel tubes that we're making already in the extruder, right? We'll add another 100. And we need copper wire. We need 300 copper wire, which is uh, here. We'll 300 copper wire, which requires uh, another 200 electromagnets, which is 600 copper wire. Yes, yeah, so we need 900 copper wire total. Need one more for that. Forty more copper. And then all those tubes. There's 40 more copper. We need a little bit more iron. It's immediately getting thrown into, into things. It's fine, let's do that. Come over here, throw this in, throw this in, throw this in. We don't need, you know, it's probably listing the iron incremented higher now because there's no tubes there. That's fine. When we run out of iron in this, we'll just cancel that steel plate order and we'll be fine. Grab all of those, we throw them in here. Go build things. Uh, we're also going to grab our alkaline power cells. We're going to 
avoid the trees until we see the water. Now we can go down. He's so comfy in his little cat bed. It's actually a dog bed. Because he's a big cat. He stretches up on his hind legs. The tips of his ears go to 36 inches. This is Lord's cat. So we're some copper wire and some power cell shorts. That's done. That's done. That's done. Yeah, we're making progress now. Ditching the assembler. Doing things in their proper machines. That's the way to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Plus the battery gives us eight, so we're capped down. Let's go back to base. We work through the night. Get our stuff done. I wonder what it would take to build another hydrogen tank. Like, I don't want to give up the, the inventory space for a second one. But just to be able to be like, yeah, I showed up, dump my hydrogen tank off, pick up another clean one. Ice. There's that. Go back here to the. Uh, the oh crap! What's going on? Fabricator. Almost there. We'll need to do some more later, but we're almost there for right now. Here. It's been made. Pull these plates out. Grab those things. Haul off down. As soon as power is stable enough down here, we're going to take down and start relocating our manufacturing. We're going to build up the other basic manufacturing facilities so we don't have to use that assembly anymore. And then we'll be done with it. Slow down as we come in for our landing. There we go. We got us a battery. Alkaline batteries build at full battery power? Oh, I love that. I absolutely love that. That's, that's amazing. I mean, it makes perfect sense because of how alkaline batteries work. But... steel plates and a whole bunch of small steel tubes that we seriously don't need. Or, okay, we got all the small steel, steel tubes we need. Start build stuff. And there we go. There's the rest of those. And then over here, we're going to need small steel tubes here. This is just armor blocks. We don't need, need tubes for those. We will for this. So we need 11 more small steel tubes for this hydrogen engine. We're out of parts. We're out of parts. Uh, we need more power. We need to recharge our power. I'm gonna get to build the dock. I'm excited about that. Turbine tower. Go over here, grab all these plates out. Let's just throw this to the back of the line. 
motors are more important right now. Uh, so there's that, and we go over here to Still at nine percent. We're good. Let's grab more steel tubes. We need, I don't know, something. What are we missing on our fabricator to make? We need iron, iron and ice. Okay. Well, right now all the iron's getting sucked into the extruder. Let's kill these off. We don't have to have the extra power cells right now, I guess. But we need more drills. That's another thing we need to do. We need a whole bunch of construction pumps. What all do we need? We need a ton of construction components and a ton of construction components. So, at the fabricator, not the extruder, the fabricator. Uh, let's just do like 200 construction pumps. Right? That'll work. Well, running face first into a tree did remind me I'm supposed to recharge my suit. Benefits. Benefits to crashing face first into a tree. I suppose. I'm concerned. Right? Every every twelve hours in game, faction strength up, updates from one side to the other. And I'm really concerned we're gonna go and go over to that that resistance base and it's gonna be wiped off the map. From the GC or something. They're gonna start getting bigger and bigger ships. Okay, so I don't technically have to go underwater anymore. There's two plates. Tubes. What the hell have I built on? Oh, just these, okay. So it's all the construction kind of stuff. We'll add this, and then add that. I know we can get that stuff going too. In fact, we're going to rip some of that iron back out of that manual assembler and re repurpose it for faster production. <sighs> Terrifies me every time it rushes up out of the darkness. Don't need silicon, we don't need nickel. Come over here. We have iron, things are being made again. Do I need any small tubes for any of this stuff? No, so we're going to put away our small steel tubes. We're making the big tubes. We're making the cells. We're going to put this in front. We don't have the iron to make these. This is the problem. Yeah, we do. We've got the iron to make most of them. We need to move ice over to the fabricator. The extruder is 50 iron short of where it needs to be now. That's doable, though. Alright, 
We're exactly where we need to be for ice. We just need a little bit more iron, and we're good to go on that set of things. Double tap. Not enough stuff still. That's okay. Still faster than doing it in the assembly bench. Which is running super slow. If it gets it done, I guess it doesn't technically matter. Uh, do we need large steel tubes? We need large steel tubes, yeah. We needed them for the engine or something. Go back down the hill to Port Mordor, where it lies eternally in shadow. segment done. We're almost back to where we need to be, which is outstanding, honestly. And then we'll just do that both tanks in here. We don't have either tank. can't tell how long it is until sunrise. So we might just have to uh, go wing it. Because once that's up and running, we won't need to run the moisture evaporator anymore. Uh, we don't need to run. See, what don't we? What won't we need to run anymore soon? A lot of things. Grab these. Drag this up here. Oh. <laughs> Full load of things at least. As long as I can see things that aren't land, I don't have to worry about it. Cut that one a tad close. Wait on motors. We need heating elements, which I don't think I ever queued up, did I? No, we need nine heating elements. We need more steel plates, more large steel tubes, more construction components. I don't like the fact that there's a Gold Corp gunship flying right over our old base. Like, I know, you know, like, we're not on their radar yet. Because I smartly didn't go provoke their lithium mining operation for no reason. But it doesn't make me feel any easier. Uh, I will be streaming this evening. It'll be over on Twitch. Yes. Over on Twitch tonight. Uh, I think it's going to be some Deep Rock Galactic. Tank's finally empty. Let's turn this back on. <laughs> Appreciate you coming by, Phil. Okay. 
finally ran out of power. I mean, we're refining faster than we use, even at the slow moisture evaporator rate, so I'm pretty confident that with a full water ingest off that collector, we can run multiple hydrogen engines off that one generator. Feeling pretty good about that. And then we need to set up um, production. We need heating elements. Can we do these in the fabricator? We can. Uh, just copper and iron. Sweet. And then extruders done with that stuff. The assembling bench is still running. Needs more big tubes. So we're going to rip all this stuff out. We've got another 124 tubes. We'll go run these over manually. Drop these in. Grab these. Put these up here. Actually, no, we're going to do this differently. We're not going to make the electromagnets here because there's no point in making the electromagnets here when we can do it in the fabricator. Because that's just that's just better. It's iron and copper. That's all we need for that. We got the only reason we still need to use the assembly benches for plates. We do motors here. We can't do motors here. So the assembly bench is still needed for the actual motors, the actual copper wire, and the actual plates. But everything else, we don't need to use it for. So we need to stop using it for things when that happens. So there's that. That fixes that issue. Uh, let's grab some more of the steel tubes, run them back across, drop those in. steel tubes and we're good we're done with the alkaline cells we had previously queued up so we'll need to make some more to finish out the second battery eventually but for right now we're fine let's grab the heating el coils elements out of this and then for this, we need copper wire and iron ingots, which we have copper wire in here somewhere. Where did the copper wire go? Did it already get used? Oh, so the fabricator already. Okay. 63 out of 540. That's the problem. Okay. Uh, grab these heating elements. Grab these. Let's fly. Crank the tunes up. All right, we're just short motors. Motors need a couple more steel plates. Along, I can start taking this apart and relocating it all. I don't think we actually have to still be up here. I'm like 99% sure we don't. We should have the parts needed to not have to care.
pretty excited if that's actually the case. Yeah, I'm pretty certain. All right, let's... This is the scary bit here. If I crash, it's game over. Let's stay focused. Let's not squirrel off. Slow down. Ease on into it. Then we'll see if we put port mode back on. We've got ports on the sides and everywhere else. So let's do survival kits. Stick it directly on top of the hydrogen tank. Officially relocated a survival kit to Port Mortal. The Port Mortor Medical Center. plates steel plates steel plates well steel plates and a whole bunch of other stuff what do I have on my inventory why do I have large steel tubes on my inventory well, I was supposed to, I was supposed to move them and didn't it's fine it's perfectly fine off, grab these plates, grab the copper wire, uh, we'll come over here, we'll drop off the copper wire, we'll grab the electromagnets, because that's needed for more motors, we'll grab those tubes as well, we'll throw these all in here. We actually need copper wire for these two. It's fine. A whole bunch of construction components. Fly back down. Problem dog base. Creatures going by. And as always, the bond will exist. Okay. Hydrogen tank up and running. Two days of current drain without generating any new power, just keeping this afloat, so that's fine. Uh, we got this tank almost up and running. We're short some construction components, but we should be functional. Yeah, we're functional. We need 
motors. We need so many motors. We need motors. All right, let's prioritize motor making. Question becomes Do it that way. Yeah, okay. So if we come over here, we can grab these steel plates again. Start shuffling copper wire up at the top here so we actually get things made otherwise. This is so upsettingly slow. And once we have power up, we can also put some lights in, which will be nice. Won't need to rely on a GPS waypoint that way. Thirty-nine more steel plates, seven more construction components for this hydrogen engine. But again, I'm like, pretty sure we just pick things up and move. Them. In fact, this we're gonna do is start taking things apart and go. We're not using the extruder right now, so we'll take the extruder apart, we'll take the smelter apart, we'll take the static drill apart, we'll relocate all those down here. We will actually we'll finish building out the tanks and all that stuff first, because there's motors in those. Right now we have enough emergency f I hit that tree hard enough to knock it down. Did die somehow. We have enough emergency rations I don't need this right now. We'll get back to it eventually but I could I would rather put those parts to better use over here first. Is going to rip this out of the ground. Inventory is full. Of course it is. Uh, then we'll just fly this down here. Or we'll also heal. And they've got. We're going to have to. Before we upset Goldo Corp, we're going to have to set up some weapons and like some defensive stuff because them sending drones directly overhead is going to be a bad time. Because if we upset them, sorry, when we upset them, we, uh, we're going to need some defensive, defensive stuff. Let's go ahead and heal up the giant bust that knows we gave ourselves, smashing down that tree with our hard head. Base first. This is now built, which means this is hooked up. So if we power this on, we've got so much ice in the collector, that's good. Yes, okay, so uh, O2H2 generator. Let's uh, input, not set to empty, but it should pull from the inventory or the thing. So quota, we want like. T 
10,000 ice, it should always try and set. So we're good for that. Come over here to hydrogen tanks. Put one after this. We're filling both tanks. That's good. We are down to less than an hour of power right now without just off this one alkaline battery start. So let's get this hydrogen engine up and running. We need more electromagnets for that. Um, and then probably get this other battery built as well. That's my expectation. Don't have the steel plates. Okay. But that does mean we can come over here and start ripping the rest of the base apart as that goes. And not care. I'm loving this. So we're going to turn off the O2 HU generator up here. We're going to turn off the moisture vaporator. So we don't need that. In fact, we're just going to grind it off. Stay above the trees. No more tree face plants. Uh, so take this out. We don't need this anymore. What else are we doing down here? We've got so much stuff in our inventory. Let's, uh, let's just deposit it all. Finish grinding what we were doing before. Finish grinding this. Don't need these. Let's get just some components and stuff back. Uh, let's see. This was never built, so we're just going to take it down. Come over here. I hate this stupid thing. We're going to steal everything out of it. Rip it all down. Nope. We're going to have to put one back up downstairs. But for right now, no. Uh, let's see. We don't need. Fabricator is still being used, I think. Is, but not for anything important. Rip it out. Yes. All right. Forward motion. That's what I should have done to begin with. This. Hey, how does your engine's running? Right? Why are we not hanging on? Let's go to the collector. Uh, output empty. Yeah, let's just set up the deal. Why are we why are we holding on to things? Something goofy's going on. I don't know what. By the way, we're even with the hydrogen engine running, we're still stockpiling gas, so we're good. Uh, we need some more cells for that still. It's a bunch of stuff we didn't need. Let's go uh, cargo. So we need cargo. We need a small container. We have the aluminum plates to do that. Up there, we don't have enough for anything else. Okay. We need to relocate a lot of that stuff. Take this opportunity, eat a bite of food. I 
don't know why the code is not working. So we're supposed to try to get 10,000 ice into his inventory. And it doesn't want to do it. But I don't know. We'll see. Any more steel plates? downstairs at the port. Oh, we're out of space. Okay. Uh, so, uh, uh, okay. we got 16 aluminum plates, which is not enough to do another cargo container. So we gotta, we gotta think, think smart here. It's almost sunrise. It's almost day two. Which means Port Mordor will, for a short period, be blessed with the light of the star. Okay, so we're here. How do we want to run the temporary manufacturing facility stuff we could do? Let's just clear all this out. Is there... No, that's the DLC mod. Production blocks. Okay, so we need... What do we need? We need we need a smelter. We need, uh, actually, we need static drills and then a smelter. We need. We need a fabricator. We need a plate stamp. Cement kiln. And then a ceramics furnace. And this is all of the tier one. I guess Ted up this tier two stuff. Ceramics furnace eventually gets us to the rock crusher, which we need for the chemical refinery, which gets us into oil. We need a fabricator to get the ref regular refinery and assembler, but that requires bauxite, which we don't have yet. The cement kiln gets us to the synthetics factory, which gets us to a whole bunch of other stuff. Plate stamp is just the plate stamp. So let's see what we have here as far as wood. Is a bit. Right, so turn back on port mode. Got a port on one end and the other of the ceramics furnace. The smelter just has one in, one out. Uh, fabricator has one only. Wire drawer goes straight through. Extruder goes straight through. Plate stamp has three. Okay. Ceramics kiln has in and out, and ceramics furnace has in and out. So, static drill. Okay, let's. let's, let's do we want we don't technically need ice for any of this stuff 
So we can just build off and up and over. And not care. I like that thought. So we're gonna do that. Uh, let's see. Go here. This gets us up. Two, three, four. We'll go back here to the half blocks because it saves us plates. And this is where we'll start that whole production system. So we're going to start off with a static drill, which has to be implanted into the ground some, but does need clearance. So we need, actually, we need to go back to our pipe pipes and pipe junctions. So if the smelter's the first thing we hit, which side looks best? We want to face... That is what matter. So we'll put this here. There's the smelter. Uh, which is going to go to the plate stamp next. Kind of don't want to face... Well, I guess I kind of do want to face. Put the plate stamp there. And then we'll put the fabricator on the front face of this. Put some steel plates under these so that we have it kind of supported and it doesn't look as jacked up. And then after the plate stamp, we can go to the wire drawer. And we place it on. I don't, do I not have the Oh, because there's not a mount point there, because that's where the actual port is. Uh, and then into the extruder. And then we'll hold off on the ceramics and cement kiln for the time being. But that does mean now we can come over here. What we can do. Actually, now we're going to change that up. These two are going to pop off the other side. So, like that flow better. Yeah. what I want to do. Uh, we still need to feed it with, with the airports. Flange pipes, two, three, four, and then we'll do a junction here, so we can do, so there's the port for that, we'll do the static drill, one, two, three, we've got a port up still. That gets us a ton of, well, that gets us stone, uh, which gets us some basic refining stuff going. And we can put, if I need to, I can put another, because so we're going to need to. Put another engine down here, right side up this time. Uh, 
they'll feed through each other. I've got another access point out. So let's start with... this. I guess technically what I need to do is start with these things because I can main feed them in. If I have to. Roll this up. It's the only thing there. Uh, I'll do this. The fabricator. That's where we're starting. And then the smelter. Because all the rest of this we can do manually as necessary. We'll drink some water as we fly. That doesn't sound like a recipe for vomiting everywhere. And eventually, as we run out of parts, our inventory will get small enough. We can rip everything out of this cargo container and then relocate the cargo container itself. We'll put the cargo container itself on the top of the static drill stack. Leg blew off that time. 2251 cloning fee. That's what I get for not double checking my tanks. That's what I get. Less than 50%. Less than 40%. 30%. Okay. Cool. Plop this one down. Refill the suits. Take our tank. Heat this over there. Uh, hydrogen tank. And none of the tanks set to stock or refill. Cool. That's fixed. Let's run right over here. Start putting stuff together again. Where's still? Nothing. Okay, cool. Uh, so I did draw out. I mainly picked it up. It's not going to work right. So. We'll re-add these back to Build Planner, we'll yank everything we can for them out, and then we'll come back. This would be where a fancy time-lapse montage would be helpful. Couch too. Uh. All right, plate stamp is up. That's taken care of. So now we can easily and quickly make steel plates and eventually aluminum plates. Fabricator's not quite there yet.
I'm just going to start getting in the habit of hitting up the survival kit every time I go to leave. So at least the suit is tap topped off every time. Which should theoretically reduce the hydrogen usage rate out of the tank. Because it won't refill until we drop below 30%. I think. I think. And I know there's a mod out there that would allow me to refill the tank in my suit, or the, the, the tank carried in my inventory, while I also refill the suit. Um, I just don't like the way it feels. Like, it, it, it feels weird to me, and I, I get it. It's, it's one of those things where, from a gameplay quality of life, it's not a bad idea, but just for me, the concept of you're refilling a higher capacity and therefore a much higher pressure tank from a lower pressure fitting through the suit just bothers me. Right, fabricator's up and running. Smelter's up and running. which means we're going to shift gears. I think we're going to grind down the couch and relocate the couch because I need the sleep reimbursement. So I'm down 8% because I died. It feels bad. In fact, we're going to delete the hole. Don't need the hole. Waypoint anymore. I'll sit down first. Let's get us back up above 10. That's all we need. Chop this down. Fill up our inventory with things. I wonder if water breaks your fall, or if you still take impact damage if you hit the surface of the water fast enough. Okay, uh, let's... Couch. No. I want it facing out to the bay. I want a view when I'm resting. There we go. Sounds.
wonder if the issue with the quote is that technically the conveyor doesn't normally have an inventory. That might explain it. So Drago's easy inventory management doesn't see it as a valid place to pull from because normally a collector is supposed to immediately, after take stuff, shunt it into an inventory. But because the water mod modifies the collectors to be able to pick up and hold ice from water, I bet that's the interaction that's making no sense so far. That would explain it. Okay. Uh... There's that. So how are we doing this? This is this is empty. This is not running. That's not running. There's nothing being done here. How are we doing inventory space in this? Uh, we're down three thousand meters, so not a whole lot. Tubes. What do I have that's still... Oh, the other drills. That makes sense. Because for this guy, we need steel plates. And that's about it. Hey, Captain Arthur! Are you... Are you the scenario author, Captain Arthur, by any chance? Your icon makes it look that way. Well, there's imposters out there. I guess, really, if I ask you this question and you're an imposter, you're going to fake it and say you are anyway, so. <laughs> Welcome in, then. I'm relocating because I picked a bad starting spot and uh, died entirely too often. So, you know, stuff happens. And we're going to take apart some of this other stuff here. Plates back. Don't need this power anymore. Don't need this power anymore. Pretend that is didn't drop those plates. Professional engineer. Professional space. There's no plates here. Done. Should be good enough to run. Even without elevators. Yep, okay, cool. Just need more motors. The eternal. You know, actually, hang on, that's. It's fine. We'll put it back in a moment. We just need to steal those motors that aren't being necessary in the first place. There we go. Okay. We're cheating that. Uh, no, this is actually my first playtime through Industrial Overhaul. I have never done IO before. Um, I'm enjoying it so far. I'm a little concerned about the number of GC drones that are flying over me. But I haven't told them uh, to saw it off yet. So GC's not raining hell down on me from their drones yet. Uh, so I need to I need to definitely take steps to fix that before I tell them to get lost. I think we're day. Th this is day three. Might be day four uh, on the scenario so far. We're not too terribly far in, but we are enjoying 
the few moments of sun we get because uh, the high mountains here, well, they blot out the sun. And now I think about those plates actually might have gotten grabbed by the gate up. <laughs> That's fine. You know, keep taking things down. Oh, there they are. They just rolled. Uh, we need more motors. We don't need this running anymore, so we're going to take this partially apart. I'm excited to see how this scenario progresses, however. How this progresses as, as time goes on, um, as far as that goes, so... And at some point in time, we need to take a trip back over to uh, the Zero's Colony and see if there's some stuff there. Get some cobalt or some grids. Because it'd be nice to be able to jumpstart our way in and not have to necessarily worry about going out to get the cobalt and going through all that. But we'll see how that goes. Yeah, I already found... I found the lithium mine. Uh, and they told me to get lost before they blew me out of the sky, so uh, I listened to them and got, got lost. <laughs> I wasn't about to, to try them on that one. They sounded pretty serious about it. Yeah, my threat score is very low still. Very, very low. Current goal is uh, get this relocated, get all the tier 2 manufacturing actually up and running so I don't have to deal with the manual assembler bench because whew, uh, and then from there make a boat boat and probably some form of ultralight for the stuff that water travel is not really worth doing and go from that way that's the current plan, at least. Uh, considering that today's plan started off with going and getting some bauxites and uh, building ourselves some farms, well, I think you can see how that's gone. Then again, I did blow up my rover on that very cliff right there. Pretty early on today, so... <laughs> uh, I don't think anybody considers me actually actually a threat at this point. Let me turn you on. Need some more plates for you. You know, I might, at the end of the day, I still might have to come in and go. Uh, the timing, by the way. The perfect timing on running out of hydrogen when I did. Timing that might change. Well, there's always always the possibility that somebody comes in and they're like, hey, you're not as useless as we thought you were. We'll pay you for some help. Uh, yes. I just haven't done that yet. Yeah, I found that out after last week's stream. <laughs> I was like, oh, wait a minute. I didn't have to do this the hard way? Oh, I feel dumb now. Right, place out of this. And we need the motors out of this. And then... Almost done. Let's throw some of the stuff that we don't need in here right now into storage. Pick up the plates. Motors are kind of down the stack there. How far can we get? Not far enough. Okay, let's go. Uh, 
If I could figure out what an industrial overhaul is causing the audio bug that Keen finally fixed though, where it constantly plays the noise in the background, that'd be nice. I haven't figured that one out yet. Almost there. You on, get you going. The stockpile the stone for now. So it reload does, but it comes back as soon as I get within whatever whatever thing is causing noises. So uh, original, I was like, oh, clearly this is just a resurgence of the of the original bug from Keen, right? Um, you know, I'll just change out of realistic sound mode into arcade sound, and it'll solve the problem for me. I was already in arcade sound. So I swapped it over to realistic. I'm like, well, let's give this a shot and see if this makes any difference whatsoever. Nope. None. So, like, if I reload, it will stop it until I get within audio range of... I guess it's the hydrogen engine that's making the noise. So that's mildly annoying. But, like, constantly reloading because of that <laughs> doesn't seem helpful. So I just turn the game down a little bit. They can just be our little, our little tinnitus friend <laughs> for, for now. <laughs> so I have to go through and figure out what's causing that before it drives me mad. We'll get there eventually. Or, you know, maybe Keen did break something again, right? Like, I just, it's been... The last time I touched hydrogen engines was before their most recent patch. And you never know, right? Like, they're always... They're making incremental improvements and bug fixes for PlayStation, which is good. It, it You know, I'm not saying don't do the bug fixes. But I am saying... We've seen more than once... There we go. Uh, more than once where a PlayStation-derived patch has resulted in breaking things for PC and Xbox other bugs coming back that weren't previously there, right? So, like, this might be one of those things. Maybe it was not. So I have to go do some, some testing after stream and see if I can run it down. All right. We got three static drills running. That's good. They're poured, they're connected into our current connector stack, so let's grab Break the ice down to the H2O2 generator. Once we have an actual cargo container, that won't be an issue. The refinery should be getting stone. But it's not. Smelter. Smelter. Not refinery. Why are we not getting things transferred? Interesting. Okay, it moves on its own. This is not getting pulled out. Alright, that's a problem to fix later. What do I have in my inventory? Okay, is that none of that is stuff I need right this moment. It is all stuff. Fabric. I'm gonna throw all this stuff somewhere in here. Can I? Yeah, there we go. Cheat my inventory. Close enough. question now is, are we low enough on resources I can just cheat the cargo container? The static drills were... So I had the static drills before I had the hydrogen, and the static drills did never do it. The 
it started when I added the hydrogen engine to that. That's what's so weird about it. Like, I would expect it <laughs> to be something like that. But it's not. Which is also mildly infuriating when you think about it that way. Right, we've got 13, 13 aluminum. 16. We have 16 aluminum plates. I need 30 for one of these. Can't really cheat that. Because it's going to explode the contents of all of my stuff everywhere as soon as I do. So let's finish stripping this down. We need the steel plates out of this anyway. We should probably work on putting that back up as it is. Simply because the smelter is the smelter. It's okay. Actually, does the smelter do anything that the refinery does? Scrap. Scrap metal, iron, copper, silver. Okay, so we still need a smelter out of here. It's good to know. Construction components and base computers, I should probably prioritize just to go ahead and get the extruder up and running it. My initial concern was, because when I first built the hydrogen engine, uh, I had an overpower draw issue. I was like, oh, clearly this is just the result of everything flicking on and off and on and off and on and off rapidly. Like a dummy. Uh, but it was not. <laughs> it was 100% the hydrogen engine. Uh, not a problem. I appreciate you swimming by. I appreciate the effort you and everybody else has put into this scenario. So it's, I'm excited for this one. Sitting here doing this. Uh, let's see, so. Let's go ahead and drag this stuff back in. Uh, the collector's got a bunch of ice. Let's drag this down to the O2 generator. We just need to get ourselves our stuff up and up. Uh, let's see, so. We dump these things because we have them. Grab ourselves a refinery. And then we'll also grab ourselves. Let's see what else. If you do the rock crusher, I feel like the chemical refinery is the better way to go. Well, I guess that still requires the rock crusher either way. Alright, let's stay focused on this. Uh, we need the refinery because we need the refinery in order to get some of these things taken care of. Uh, and if I do this, actually, let's just do this. Yes, I just got this up and running. Yes, I just smashed it back up again. We'll add this to build planner. We'll take off. Oh, wait. I need to go sit down first before I start dying from being too tired. Man, imagine if that was real life. You don't sleep for a day and you just your brain starts melting. That would suck. We'll eat ourselves a little snack. Some more ice down the O2 gen. How are we doing the tanks? That's the better question. Hydrogen tanks. We're at 48% on each of these tanks. That's cool. Generator is pushing out power, but we're at what? 15% passive load. So I'm not particularly concerned about that. Okay. Uh, and then we need 
something else we need. What was it? Let's go ahead and stack on the cement kiln on the side of this thing. The cement kiln has three way outputs. I like that. And the ceramics furnace only has two. So we could do. Can't do that yet. Uh, let's. Production! Plate stamp. Oh, yes. All the plates. Just queue up a bunch. And now we have iron. It's in the smelter. Why are things not passing? Hmm. Hmm. Supposed to be emptying out. Okay. That's fine. Stamp. Grab all the iron. Drag and drop it in there. We'll get ourselves some plates going. Block, put this here because that will let us put our kiln in there. Uh, if we spin this around this way, we can line that up and then put that there. So that's back in the train just a little bit, but that does fit. We've got an access port on the front once we get this built. We need more steel plates. So how many steel plates do we still need? We still need a lot of steel plates. Click the button. We're going to draw things out. We're not going to weld up the states yet because we're not there. Need an emergency ration. Fly back upstairs. Actually, hang on. I don't have any steel plates on right now. So let's go down here. Something down here needs small steel plates, right? Or small tubes. what we can get out of that. Cargo transport. Once we have tier two production up, be self-sufficient stuff, I'm not I won't be concerned about. These out. There's little bits of stone and ice in here for some reason. All right, we're missing steel plates. We need we need more steel plates. We don't have them. so many things though. Grab the ice. Grab the stone. We'll throw that in there downstairs. Uh, we grab. Well, the rest of this is particularly useful. I could grab things and break it back down again. Grab extra large tubes and do that. We'll just break things down as we go. And that'll work in our favor. I still think I'm going to have to build a manual workbench, though. Because the assembly bench is the only way to put together motors right now, still, I think. Slow it down. There we go. Here, uh, drop off the tank and one of our hydrogen tanks. Reload it. Not quite there yet. Uh, let's see. 
go around the back. Oop. Get stuck on the ghost. Okay, so... We have a bunch of plates. Smelter takes the stone. And then the... Extruder's not done yet. Fabricator can't do those. That can't do those. Can't do those. So the extruder... Why is the extruder not done? What did I forget? Construction components. Of course. Uh, since that's there, we're just gonna... Can't deposit everything, but I can pull things back out. Cool. Refinery's up and running. It would be nice to prioritize the refinery for stone, because then we get more yield, I think. But to do that effectively, I would have to set up sorters. So that's a uh, once auto craftings work properly, though. Yes, okay, so. Oh, that's a nice whirring noise to hear. I love it. Alright, so. There is that. Got the plates. Is there anyone who put these until that? I see construction files. Charge, refill. Grab a quick drink. Uh. I kind of feel bad because I'm carrying around all these plates and I can't do anything with them because this is not... What if I just did... I mean, this doesn't ultimately help me in the long run. Still need the construction puns, but now I can. Oh, maybe I can. Can I, can I cheat my way in? Uh, I think this is going to be too large of a. Oh, still didn't work. Okay, that's fine. Um... Crap. We've got a fabricator. Hang on a second. What is in our what is in our build list? Uh, steel plates, construction components, and base computers. It let me put them all to production. All right, so that works. Outside of motors, which we'll still need to manually put together, that works. Uh, we're gonna add one to this. We'll put these in these groups. More stone drills. Turn them off the terminal, turn them off the toolbar config, empty all on. That should theoretically force things out into the refinery. I don't actually, no, it doesn't. I gotta figure out a way around that. And I'm pretty sure the way around that was the cargo container previously. Uh, but then as far as that goes, can I... I've got some things. This is 100% done. Is this still on? Why is this not? Let's do that. There's that problem solved. We just run over here and just throw pieces into the next thing in line. Oh, that needle are steel tubes. Okay, so I guess I could have gotten rid of those tubes this whole time. Were I not bad.
I'm supposed to be making these construction components. Successfully put to production, but they're not. Okay, so that's still broken. Uh, Forty construction components, eight base computers. That's fine. We can do this manually. And copper wire, silicon, and iron for that, which we should have. Yeah, we have silicon. Is the fabricator. Drag this down here. Let's drag nickel down here while we're at it. We need more iron. That should cover that. We just need the copper wire for that. Uh, wire drawer is incomplete. Only until we get these construction components. It's fine. Silly base computers. Okay. Let's go take care of this stuff up here. Shade. Take the conveyor pipe out. Got the computers in here, which is good. Get all this down. So let's take these spare raw materials out. Scavenger C30 requesting clearance from ground installation for supply drop off. Who are you? Allied with. Oh, one of the colonies. Okay. Yeet! Okay. Don't go face first to the tree. I haven't died to a tree yet. I've almost died to a tree four times. Actually, that's not true. The very first death I had in this playthrough was to a tree. It was just off stream. But, this means we're close to getting cement. And cement means we can use the gravel we've been stockpiling. And by stockpiling, I mean refusing to throw out and incinerate. Like a little goblin. I'm just going to throw that there, and then... Throw more of this stuff in. Get that up and running. Drag more ice into the generator. Uh, we got plates. All components successfully drawn. Cool, so that means we've got all the construction components. So now, our wire drawer and our extruder are connected back to the main line. That's good. Just gonna add that. And we'll do the same thing over here with this. Throw that into build planner, see if that works. I have concerns it doesn't. You know, there's always the opportunity we could just, or the, the option we could just become a pirate. Three components could not be put to production. Okay, so let's see. what it wants. Metal grids. Ah, the ceramics furnace requires metal grids. That explains it. Okay. That deedly does explain it. Let's go ahead and flag this, though. And go from there. Uh, 
going around. I'm gonna grab stuff out. These are all done, yeah? Yeah. Need to grab some more outline power cells and get those being made. take these and put them in the extruder. And then we can flag the extruder to disassemble that. It gets more iron back. It gets stuff out of our space. Uh, we're probably going to break down a lot of stuff back to its constituent parts just to free up room in our uh, so what can make those I don't think I have anything right now that can assemble them. So I can't take them apart. I think I have to have an actual assembler for that. And the actual assembler requires... Oh wait, hang on, it's 10 metal grids though. So we might... We might be able to do something with this. Alright, so let's... Chop this up. Chop this up. Um, and we'll do... We'll do that because I think it might be necessary. And we'll do... Mm. No bottom ports, just a side port. Side port on both sides, upgrade ports everywhere else. So, really. Do, do that. And then do. That. Yeah, I like that. Okay. One, two, three. Drag all the parts that we can. Need more steel plates, not a problem. Then we put the actual assembler on it. And that'll solve those issues. Now let's see. Steel plates. Really? The plate stamp is out? Okay, that's fine. We got iron. Let's grab an iron, go down to the plate stamp, drop it in. Get some more plates. Then we'll come over here and we'll go, hey, I want to put this here. I want to put it there. So then I can always put a walk with that. Tell it to try to put things in production, we'll go from there. I am like 99% certain we have like 11 metal grids, so I should be able to put together an assembly. I'm kind of surprised I've not seen any unknown signals drop today, though. We had a bunch of them the other day, but none today. And that was how we were scavenging things like aluminum plates a couple at a time, stuff like that. I am wrong, we have two metal grids. <laughs> uh, Alright, grab this, this, grab the iron, nickel silicon, fill the rest of inventory with these things, avoid the tree branch, fly on back. The scavenger's going very south, a little bit west. So that must be going down to the resistance. That must be going down to Azura's. No, because Azura's colony's over there. Where are you going? Oh. Interesting. Why have I been there? 
bunch of stuff. None of it particularly useful. That's fine. Good in here. Alright, so. Drop the silicon in here, drop the nickel in here, drop the iron in here. Iron needs to go down to the stamp, actually. Uh, let's see, let's go with the extruder. Iron the extruder. Because of that, I'm thinking of the wires. That's fine. We'll do this. Uh, we'll do wire, wire. Fabricator. Uh, same thing with electromagnets. Scrap metal can go into the smelter. Yes. We got metal grids. Why can't I put. Oh, wait, we've got all the. Hang on. Did we already have additional metal grids somewhere and I just didn't notice? That's cool. I'll take that. And we got to go down here to the. Fabricator hold that? It can, sweet. So it can make these, yeah? Yeah. Extruder. Disassemble those. Fabricator, we'll leave this alone for now. This is some copper wire to that last computer, but we'll leave it for the time being. Plate stamp is doing plate stamp work. Wire drawer has got copper wire. Uh, over here. Tank. Done. Let's haul back up here. Let's eat a snack on the way. Get ourselves a nutri green bar. God, we're so close to having this done. So close. I'm excited. The question is do I build myself a neat looking dock first? I kind of. Mm, so I kind of want to, because I feel like that's kind of important to the aesthetic I'm looking for here. But at the same time, if I don't and I wait, I can use concrete. And that seems a lot more interesting to me. If I wait until we have the concrete furnace up and running, as the shadow stretches back over Port Mordor, we had our 10 minutes of sun. Um, and I feel like that would be better than just a bunch of steel plates and the like. So I would like it to not look like complete, but. You know. But that may not be an option for us. Okay, uh, come over here. So we go. The refinery. Extruder. Tubes of both types. Production. Plate stamp is doing its deal. Extruder, disassemble those. Uh, and then we're just going to take the iron. Drag the stone up. Electric comes down here to the O2 generator. I might rip all this out off stream and just set up a bunch of sorters to force it. I haven't decided yet. And actually, we're going to take like 800 of this and we're going to drag it down to the plate stand. Uh, because I want, I want plates, I want construction components. And why are we not making construction components? Hang on a second. Production. Fabricator. Make me some plates. We're starting to hit enough power draw now. But we're going to need this. The plates are done. Uh, one. 
to three, four, and then the battery. We need what? Uh, Thirty-four more alkaline power cells. Fabricator does that, right? Yeah. Okay, that's done. Get close to the industrial assembler. 68 more construction components, and that's a lot of base computers, that's a lot of copper wire, plus the motors. We could do it. Completely out. Okay, that's part of the problem. We're running purely off hydrogen engine only. So we definitely need those power cells first. Uh, let's go here to the fabricator, drag this up higher in line. We've got the ice for it. We don't have the copper wire for it. So let's go to the wire drawer. We've got copper wire here. Let's throw another hundred in. This goes down here to the fabricator, right? I guess it can't. Put it in as a material, though, right? Yeah, here we go. Um, and then we need copper up here at the wire drawer, which means the refinery. So I don't know that literally anything else needs copper right now or uses copper besides that. Fabricator. Uh, the fabricator, how are we doing here? We got how many copper ingots too. So two more copper wire and then 102 copper ingots. And a bunch more iron. Fabricator, refinery. Got a bunch in that. So we'll drag this up here. Uh, we got some iron down here too. This. We'll drag this iron up here at the fabricator. Alright, we're golden. It's just a matter of waiting for stuff to get built. And then for this other engine, what do we still need? The structure components of steel tubes. Do we not have. Oh no, that's right. I tore all those steel tubes apart. <laughs> Oops. Uh, so, extruder, back to assembly mode. Four, four tubes. Uh, four tubes, and that's it. We'll start with that. This gets us ten. 10 megawatts of power output. Uh, we are slowly depleting our gas stocks, but barely. Admit this might be like something where I'm just dumb. And the alkaline batteries are not recharged. Cannot be recharged. Okay. Must be removed and rebuilt. Alright, so that answers that question for us. Uh, so we'll just 
rip this out. But that's good to know. That does answer my question. So we do eventually need the lithium for the rechargeables uh, for that no matter what. And then the cells, of course, are just deleted every time. Uh, so we'll just need to queue up a bunch more cells, that's all. Fabricator. Uh, let's just go with... Uh, Six hundred more. And I have accidentally filled my inventory back up again. Because of course I have. Can't deposit. Can I put things away up here? There we go. Okay. So. Here's to Earth. It's a sweet Earth, you might say. Long. And then hydrogen. My collector comes down here to our H2O2 gen. I mean, part of the issue with this tank emptying out... Oh, absolutely, it's because we didn't have any ice in the front. Okay. There's another scavenger ship out that way. That's interesting. Yeah, that's... That's a new one. That's different. I can't see the trees when I'm above them. I'm gonna smash my face again. Okay. Right. There's nothing we can withdraw out of this, so let's. Uh, let's rip the gravel out. Because I feel like the gravel. Let's see, what's the, what's the raw material stuff we have here? Just the copper and the gravel left? Yes. Okay. We'll haul that down down the hill and do some unloads. Okay. Whoop. Coming in hot. gravel we can stick in places. More motors, more basic computers. We're gonna have to put back together the dang. But here we go, we got a battery. We're not pulling from it, really. Uh, I guess we are slowly. Uh, but that does mean... Um, let's just rip this out. Put another battery back in. things. Short the computers. We're still short of heating element. How are we short of heating element? I thought we made them in even numbers. There might be one still up, up in the, uh, the cargo material. 
maybe that's what it is. And let's take a look here what we got going on. So drag the stone up here to the industrial refinery. Uh, and production mode, we got everything out of the plate stamp is done. Wire drawer is done. Fabricator needs a lot of copper wires. Let's go back down here to the wire drawer. We need a whole bunch more copper. We'll make more copper wire than we need for the moment. Extruder's not working or anything. Uh, we need copper ingots, iron ingots, and ice for this. So let's go smelter first, drop off the scrap. Uh, we need copper. Crap, what was it? Copper, iron, ice. Another 800 copper. That's fine. I'm going to need a bunch of ice. How much? A thousand? There we go. So copper wires it builds out, and then more copper ingots as we refine it. Which means we just need to drag stuff up here. Actually, I, no, okay, we are getting copper. I was like, are we getting any copper out of this, or are we not? I was concerned there we weren't getting any copper. And then the wire. Go back to the fab. Oops. Go take the rest of the size, shove it back down in here. Uh, H2O2 generator. And the same thing from the collector. Drag more ice back up here. Recharge this. How good is my tank? 38%. We have enough hydrogen to make it up and back one more time. We're going to race death. Glowing line. Nope, oh, okay. I'm, oh, there's a bunch of copper here. Uh, and then we'll grab more gravel. <sighs> this is the goodest most of the way back. Motors and base computers. Uh, we deposited all that. I pulled something out. Don't know what. Oh, it's probably the cells. That's exactly what it was. Still in my inventory. Nothing. Ah, ah, ah. I'm gonna go sit down here soon. I can't do computers in here, can I? No fabricator. Yeah, I can. Why do I not have... Okay. I... Mm -hmm. uh, copper. Drag and drop. We got an extra 500 of that.
16. Good enough. And then we just throw the rest of this down here with the wire drawer. Drag these out. Drag and drop this. Production needs copper wire for these and silicon wafers. We're going to put these up front because I need the computers more than I need the alkaline cells at the moment. This. And actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to turn this battery off until we stop draining. Because there's no point to run it right now. We've got. Until we start running, hitting power limits, there's no reason to use it versus these engines. Like this engine is only running at less than half. These are both running at less than half. There's no reason for us to be burning battery power. None. Absolutely nunzo. So I'm going to have to do manual motor assembly. Oh, I hate this. You know what? Actually, here's what we're going to do. Uh... Factor's going to add one of these to the uh, build planner. Click out. The problem is there's no way to really set this up without breaking auto build. And I'm actually kind of annoyed about that. Fabricator, another set of those. Cool. We we'll come over here. We go. We have copper in the fabricator. We need wire. Let's drag the wire the fabricator. We've got these construction components. That's the important parts. I need better access to my inventory system. There's this. Okay. How many motors do we need? 16. Cool. Let's do 20. Just so we've got four extras. That means we need 40 large tubes, 60 copper wire, 40 electromagnetic. So extruder. 40. We've got a bunch of that going on. Fabricator needs. I think we might have enough electromagnets for that. 40 electromagnets and 60 copper wire. No. We don't. So I'll have to make some. Do a few extras. Uh, this goes first. We need copper wire for that. Always need the copper wire. Let's go down to the wire wire drawer and just crank up more wire. I guess it's more of that going. Uh, we need large tubes. Almost some of these. Alright, we've got those. Uh, we don't have the electromagnets. Oh, maybe we do. We've got three more than we need. Sweet, let's drag three back. There's something else we need. I don't forget what it was already. Blop, blop. Uh, copper wire. 60 copper wire. Of course. Of course. Cool. 
And we're making these now, and while it's making those, we're going to refill our suit hydrogen and sit down because we're at 1% sleep and we're about to die. The question is... Industrial Assembler. Industrial Assembler can make motors, medical components, acid power cells, which is on the sulfur for radio communication component sources. What what does this make that we can't make anywhere else? Light bulbs? Nope, because we can make light bulbs in the fabricator. Yeah, we can do everything. We can get rid of this 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 dang bench. As soon as it finishes making these motors. Oh my god. I'm so happy about that. I got computers. I'm gonna go put the computers in this assembly. Because I'm excited about it. Cool. And then just deposit all these things. Go back and sit down. Oh, I'm so excited. So so slow. I mean, to be fair, uh, I've worked in machine shops. That's not that's not very slow. <laughs> you know, it's it's not a, like industrial industrial assembly line speeds, but that's honestly not slow for for like a small. What I'm assuming is a 3D printer or like CNC machine, right? That looks like it's a, a some sort of 3D printer based on this. So, I mean, really, that's not slow. It just feels slow because this is a machine that I hate. And that's 100% on me for not putting forth the effort to get off this machine earlier. Uh, uh. Uh, three more. All right. Let's go grab a load of stuff from over here and bring it back. There should be three more motors by the time I'm done doing that. And then I can just throw that thing into the damn sea. That's the hope. To answer today's question, though, no, no, we can't cheat food. We have it, though. We have food. We have mercy rations, we have water. There aren't motors here, are there? No, okay. Grab all the gravel we can, haul the gravel down. Oh, we're almost out of hydrogen. Mistakes have been made. We have one partial refill in that tank left. Wasn't even enough to bring us to 100. Yeah, no, we'll make that. Close, but fine. And uh, let's come over here. Tank. Tank. We filled. We charge that. Put this gravel in here. Right? Yeah. Uh, drag the copper out. Come down here to the wire extruder. Refill this, bring this up to the fabricator, drop it in here, come down here, grab these motors, uh, wind this thing down, get rid of it. Do like another 3,000 steel plate, because we're going to need it. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not making the cells yet. I need to put in some walkways for that. How are we doing all these cells, actually? 
What are you waiting on? More copper wire? Oh, we're making the computers first. Okay, that's fair. I don't know what we need the computers for, but we need them anyway. We need more copper wire. Almost 600 wire. That's fine. We'll get there. We can we can automate things now. That's the important part. The important part is that we can automate things now. Oh yes. What do I have in my inventory? Cells, plates, motors. Okay, excess stuff. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go throw all this in here. All right. Nothing's on build plan. So we're going to go throw that onto Build Planner. Throw this into Build Planner. Come over here. Tell it to make them. Can't make the... eight heating grids that were still short. Look at that. Oh, the cement kiln is up and running. This is great. Uh, can I can I land on this and not burn hydrogen? Kind of. I fall through it. Okay. Cement kiln requires three megawatts at max. But I can make concrete out of gravel. But we're just going to say make all the concrete. Who cares? I'm out of power, aren't I? No, I'm about to gravel. Uh, let's see. Refinery? Yeah, refinery. Cement kiln. And out of the smelter. 19. We need 20,000 gravel to make 4,000 concrete. That, we have that. We got plenty of that. make concrete. So we have two different concrete mods in here. Uh, industrial overhaul adds concrete. I think we're also running AQD concrete. Uh, the difference has to do with the amount of resilience it has, whether or not it requires burgers. So I think that's how that works. Maybe I'm misremembering. That is a possibility. Speaking of which, Fabricator, why aren't you making the heating elements and the other stuff? Construction policy. Let's go plug those in. We really don't have an option. We're going to go get. We're going to go get cobalt at some point. Where is the nearest cobalt for us? On that island. So we need a boat. We need a boat. For that, and we need stuff. We need aluminum still. You know, hang on. Let's. I know it's unlikely to to work, but we're gonna try it anyway. All right, ninety percent. Let's. From here, we should be traveling more or less southwest directly. And that should theoretically take us to where the bauxite deposit is. If we can get some bauxite, I can throw it in our refinery and we can get a little bit of aluminum and jumpstart things. 
hopefully. I don't know if the handrail will show it there. Right, so that should be that big mountain there. That should be the other one. So theoretically down in here somewhere, I wish I could see the ground. This is so sketch. It's going down slowly. There we go. Okay. There's the ground. Night vision time. Oh, so much better. Not really. I lied. I thought it was better. It wasn't. I can I can't really see anything. I can see the sun as it phases through things. Okay, so we've got a big rock here to the east. Which means we're not far enough south. And there's this this mountain here, so the box light should be somewhere down here. But I'm not seeing it. So that's to our south. Yeah. And then if we look to our east. Okay, maybe we're a little bit too far south now. Oh, trees. <laughs> oh. The cleaning fee gets cheaper the less money you have. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good thing in this case. I, uh... Yeah, yeah, gunship. It's, it's kind of not, not cool to be like, hey, you should follow the laws and always enjoy tranquility when you're when you're you're threatening me with your giant aircraft guns, just saying. Okay. Oh no, I'm gonna die again. So yeah, uh, that's where we're going to end this <laughs> today. Uh, the answer to the question, was I able to find enough <clears throat> aluminum to get food production that's actual food production and not algae-based nutrogen bars uh, up and running today? The answer is no. Uh, and the answer, can we cheat the production, is still no. So, mm, so this goes. But we got everything moved. We've got Tier 1 production and Tier 2 production stuff up and running, uh, which means that we just need to reorganize some things and uh, autocraft enough stuff that we can more easily transition into Tier 3, uh, which means scaling up production, scaling up the amount of space used for land. So that'll be where we end today. I appreciate everybody who came out and viewed, anybody who comes by and sees us after the live stream on the VOD. I appreciate that as well. Uh, going to be over tonight if you're seeing this live over on Twitch at uh, twitch.tv slash pocketful of geese. Link will be down below in the description. Probably playing some Deep Rock Galactic there. Hope to see you all back uh, for the rest of the series. As always, stay safe.